Good evening and welcome to Markets Today. In the month of January, Treasury bills were oversubscribed by 120%. Uh, indicative of the liquidity that was in the market. At the in the same month, however, the All Share Index, uh, both the All Share Index and the NSC 20 Share Index, really struggled to register any gains. Well, is the money market the place to be? That's the conversation we are having today. Good evening, I'm Udi Amburamogi. Before we delve into the conversation, as usual, we'll take you to the market so that you can have a look at the performance of the day. We'll start with the gainers, move to the losers, and after that, go to the movers of the day. Um, all right, the top gainers were Kabasid Investments, made the headlines as the number one gainer at 10.35% increment in price value uh, landing at 10.95 10 shillings 95 cents cic insurance group equally made some significant uh, improvements at 2.19 uh, percent increment sorry i think my yes at 4.57 percent uh, being 2.29 uh, shillings nation media group uh, registered 2.15%, closing the day at 19 shillings. And Britam Holdings registered 1.94%, closing the day at 7 shillings 34 cents. And Khan General is still on this list, uh, having increased 1.64% in the green, closing the day at 62 shillings and being uh, the last of the top five gainers. Let's go to the losers. Top loser today was Flame Tree Group that shed off 6.92%, closing the day at 1 shilling 21 cents. Samia Africa also made it to this list at 6.76%, closing the day at 2.62 uh, uh, shillings. Rather. Uh, Sassini PLC closed the day at 20 shillings 80 cents, being 6.73% uh, lower than yesterday. Uh, than Friday's trading prices. Home Africa uh, closed the day at 37 cents, uh, being 5.13% lower. TPS Eastern Africa Serena closed the day at 13 shillings and 5 cents, being 3.33% lower and closing the list of the top losers. Let's go to the movers of the day. Um, yeah. As expected, Safaricom is leading with 2 million shares traded, followed by Equity Bank Group that has also been making headlines in the last one week. 584,000 shares traded. Kengen Company has also been here. 341,000 shares traded. Kenya Reinsurance Company is chilling with the big boys today. 314 shares traded. And ABSA also made it to the list at 273,000 shares traded. Interesting performance of the market. Well, if it's a Monday, then it's the day for securities conversation. And as usual, I'm joined by, uh, by Willis Nalwenge uh, from Kingdom Securities to make sense of this. Uh, Karibu sana Willis. Thank you very much Ramogi and happy Valentine's. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, whatever that means. What do you make of the movements in the market? Um, it's still a slow, um, begin it's, it's the beginning of the week. Normally the week starts very slow and we hope that it's going to pick along the way. We're still expecting a little bit of uh, activities from Safaricom and the banking sector with the reporting period coming up and there's more, more news coming in from uh, Ethiopia. We've seen it uh, moving the market and we've seen Safaricom was one of the uh, top uh, top gainers in terms of the NSC 25, 20 share index with 6.5% uh, as close of last week. So it's still positive news as we await and remember again, uh, we are heading towards the end of the financial year for Safaricom. So again, positive news. So hopefully that the market will react and respond accordingly. But yeah, but the... Um, the number of trades have been significantly subdued. 
Yes. Uh, as of the recent, we've seen a lot of uh, local investors in the market, especially in, uh, uh, corporate investors. So unfortunately, again, we haven't seen much of uh, foreigners in the market. They've started trickling in. When you look at it, uh, foreign activity last week was about 63% compared to about 56% uh, the previous week. So a little bit of uh, more activity on the foreign, uh, foreign side. The other positive thing we need to look at again is that it was a net inflows compared to the previous times when you've had net outflows. Mm -hmm. So anytime you see foreigners coming into the market, then we expect prices to continue edging upwards. So let's continue hoping that as the time uh, rolls by towards the announcements, then more and more foreigners will be interested in the local stock markets, which will help push the prices up. All right. I am also joined by Lawrence Mlaki, who is an economist and CEO at Lays Financial Services in Tanzania, joining us from Dar es Salaam. Lawrence, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you again for having me. Excellent. Um, give us an overview of how the markets are like in Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange. All right. Thank you very much. Um, we, the, the, the equity market recorded almost 11.7 billion worth of turnover for last week. And this is making almost a significant increase of 149% compared to the other week of 4.6 billion. And the, the total volume of share trading was almost 4 million shares were traded. And TBL, which is the Tanzania Breweries Limited, accounted for almost 85.7% of all shares which were moved. But we, we see as well the all share index, which is the DSC all share index, lost almost 1.83 points, whereby um, cross-listing cross companies such as the East African Breweries, um, KCB, NMG shares, they, they, they went slightly down compared to the previous week. And then the, the company which we, we saw some, some gain were um, NMB and JATU, which they also rose from 9.7% 9, 9 for NMB and 1.7% for, for, for JATU. Uh. But on the, on the foreign, we, we've seen foreign investors as well accounted a lot for the majority of the transaction, both from the buying side and then from the selling side, almost 84.8% of all share purchased. So they, mm -hmm. they, it was almost 9.9 .9 billion. Yes. Uh, when you say 9 billion, I, I believe you're talking about Tanzanian shillings. Tanzanian shilling. Tanzanian <laughs> shilling. Sorry, Tanzanian shilling. Fair enough. Uh, from what I hear, your volumes are going up significantly, 149%. Uh, but you have yes. shared value uh, marginally though uh, but still you have shared some value on the all share index what's bringing the disparity yeah um as as as, as you can see we are we've just we've just started the year and lots of people in tanzania do trade in order to to have like a capital gain so the the tbl shares if you look at it I mean, it's, I mean, the share price, it closed at 10900 But because people, people tend to look at a small movement of price, we'll have a big capital gain on that. So most, most investors prefer that. Fair enough. I want to take this conversation to the, conver uh, to the uh, subject of the day, which is the uh, money markets. And we'll start perhaps with the money markets in Kenya, and then we can go to the money markets in Tanzania. Willis, how is the money markets in Kenya uh, doing? You know, we are here and uh, looking at uh, the performance of the money markets in January compared to the perform performance of the equities market. It looks like the money markets is having the lion's share of trading at the stock market. Uh, what's driving this renewed interest? Um, normally, it's all about portfolio rebalancing. We've seen that the recent past, the yield curve uh, was high. The yields, again, for uh, the short-term uh, papers, that is the Treasury bills, so, uh, were very low of last year due to the high liquidity in the market. But as of late as um, August, we saw liquidity struggling uh, along the way, and that is when the interest rates started to rise of the short-term paper. So most of the fund managers 
opted to move funds from the equities market towards the uh, money market money markets and also the government papers which pushed a little bit of uh, interest in that area and also the rates as they continue uh, going up then we've seen again a, a cycle a, a recycle on the same uh, yeah but looking at the figures it, it would seem like uh, so you're just thinking it's just a rebalancing it looks like the equity equities market is losing out let, let me take you a few a few a few years back on that beginning of 2022 beginning of 2022 liquidity in the market was 2022 is this sorry 2020 uh, yes. the liquidity in the market was struggling that is before covid was announced so when COVID, uh, COVID happened, Central Bank made a few changes and one of the things it did is reduce the CBR from 7.25, in fact it was 8.25 to uh, at the end of the day it was at, eight, uh, at 7%. And then again changed the CRR, uh, CRR from, this is the commercial bank uh, rate, from uh, 5.25 to 4.25, injecting about 32 billion into the Kenyan market. Right. So that liquidity had to be posted somewhere. Unfortunately, with that environment, not many banks could be able to lend, considering the, 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 the unknown effect of the COVID. So most of it was packed in the government securities. And knowing the way things, not knowing the way things were, most investors opted to go to the 364 day paper. So what happened is that normally the liquidity takes about 30, 30 days or about 30 to 60 days to get into the market. And then now it starts circulating. So everybody injected this money in the government papers at around the same time. That was June 2020. Yeah. So maturity will have been June 2021 because it's a 364 day paper. So when it got to June 2021, you had to decide with the maturity, what are you going to do? Are you going to reinvest again in the long-term paper? That is a 364-day paper. Or are you going to look at a short-term paper not knowing what will happen in the market? So everybody went for the 91-day paper. So 91-day paper in June was supposed to mature in September. There was high liquidity in September. Everybody opted to uh, reinvest the same money in another 364-day paper, which landed, no, sorry, 91-day paper which landed in January. in January. So that's the reason why we saw high liquidity in January. The interbank rate edged downwards in January. The rates, the treasury bill, uh, treasury rates slowly crept upwards in January compared on how it did in December. So those are some of the effects that will affect the, in the, the, the short term uh, paper. Now, at the same time, when people are going into the government securities, people are running away from the equities. And that's the reason why you saw volumes in 2021, uh, 2020 went up compared to 2019 and were, low, uh, were still up compared to 2021. So everybody is still trying to play in the space where you are guaranteed return compared to the equities market where you do not know what the returns will be. So we, uh, we are seeing um, a, a manifestation of the cycle, the liquidity cycle uh, occasioned by what happened in 2020. Uh, and the after effects. Yes, slowly you'll see there's a little bit of change towards June and the liquidity will be down. And then now we'll have a, similar, a different discussion uh, with regards to the money market. Hopefully, hopefully. But I have also seen some good uh, reception towards the infrastructure bond that has been listed. Yes, definitely. Infrastructure bond is one of the favorites for uh, investors, both in Kenya and globally. The, the thing about it is that it gives good returns and then it's tax exempted. Mm. It's tax exempted. So that aspect of tax is a very good um, aspect on it. And then number three, it's an amortized bond, meaning that along the way they will have to uh, redeem part of the part of the bond, making that you will earn enough money and still have uh, after ten years you'll have money to reinvest. So it's a very attractive paper uh, across the board. I agree, it's attractive. Let's uh, cross over to Dar es Salaam, where Lawi is. Lawi, how is the money market in Dar es Salaam doing? All right. Um, I, I would say I would say most investors here in Dar es Salaam they prefer investing on the money market side. All right, and and the treasury board. I would say because if you look at the equity market, it's still very, very it's not performing very well. It's not very volatile. But if you look at the money market side, let's say if you look at Treasury Treasury bills auction of last week, it was oversubscribed by 127 billion Tanzanian shilling. All right, and then of course we have got the most people prefer the 364 days one, and then of course as well even the 182. But if you look at other money market instruments, you're talking about the fixed deposit. All right, the call accounts in, in on different banks they. 
the, the, the fixed deposit at the moment in different banks goes until 6%. But our money market, because it's being offered at a discount rate, people prefer to go and invest in money markets, and the treasury bills. But if you look at the treasury bond, we have, I think I would say, very good competitive rate. We've got a 25-year bond, which offer a coupon of 15.95%. And then that that auction which took place in January, amount offered was 133 Tanzanian shilling, 133 billion Tanzanian shilling, and amount which tendered was almost 656 billion Tanzanian shilling. So the the auction was was oversubscribed for almost by 553 billion Tanzanian shilling. So I would say I would say they are, they are very they are very competitive. And people, people do prefer this money market instrument and, and, and the treasury bond. But if you look at infrastructural bond, we're still in process of issuing one as a country. So we have not issued any, any infrastructural bond. We are, I mean, the, the government is looking in offering um, a municipal bond. But if you look at some of the corporate bonds, they have, they have also started. I mean, la, I mean the, since, the, since the corporate bond started, up to this moment, we they've, they've managed to to collect almost like 126 billion Tanzanian shilling, and it we have seen mostly it's being played by 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 different banks such as Exim Bank, NMB Bank, TMRC. Those are the are the few companies which manage to offer corporate bond, but they're not very popular at the moment. But Government on the government bond people people do like government bond a lot more, more than the equity or on the equity side. Well, clearly, I think that's because one of the things that we've noticed this side as well. Because even as Willis was talking, you realize this is accurate. In in Nairobi alone, last month we did uh, one twenty percent of a subscription of the T bills vis-a-vis uh, -vis very low volumes in the equities market. Well, I am informed that we must take a break, and when we come back, we are going to have um, a, a look at the yield curves. We are going to have a look at uh, perhaps the corporate bond segment as well. Don't go away. Stay tuned.